The Forestry Commission's vision of seeking some $10 million investment to upgrade the Shy Hills Reserve to boost ecotourism and make it a distinct tourism destination in the sub-region has seen some massive response. If we come here in the next five years, Shy Hills will be a different place. Yes, we have advertised for people to come and then open up the potential of the area as, a, as an ecotourism destination. And uh, we have got uh, <coughs> investors who have come and now we are evaluating their proposals and then we'll kick start by the middle of this year. You see Shah Hills coming up like Noli. If you go to Moli now, you attest to what I'm talking about. Facilities at the reserve over the years have not seen any renovation due to lack of funds and support. A recent partnership between the University of Ghana and the Wildlife Division of the Forestry Commission has seen some renovations for the establishment of the Shy Hills Museum Complex project and the Archaeology Research Project. Dr. William Nati Blepo is an archaeology lecturer and spearheading the project. What we are thinking of doing at this particular location in relation to the, the research center is to be able to show uh, kids who come to this park and students and researchers that um, people have lived here way before even Europeans arrived and the evidence can be seen in ceramics and other material culture here and also we're hoping that when visitors come we can take them through archaeological excavation uh, techniques by having hands-on uh, or experiential learning few months down the line, final year archaeology student of the University of Ghana are here to study as part of their field work. Already, some significant archaeological discoveries have been made. We found several teeth. And when you come to delicate objects like human remains, then you have to be more careful because, for example, this piece like is a part of a skull. And so if you were just digging with a big tool, you are going to end up damaging everything. Okay. And so you can see here, this is a premolar, yeah. this is a molar, this is another one. So we are dealing with a human jaw. More discoveries were made on the steep hills of Shai, where ancestors were believed to have lived. Uh, here is a labor ward mm. for the ancestors. You see, in the olden days, they don't have clinics and they don't have hospitals. Here is a baby scot. That's a baby scot. Baby scot, yes. A baby scot over there. Yeah. Yes. And uh, here is where the 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 uh, let's say the midwife mm. uh, help the woman to give birth after the giving birth. Mm. Then they put the baby. In the court. In the court, yes. Students took advantage to learn more about what happened here centuries ago. Archaeology is very significant in the sense that it goes beyond just written history. And we always complain that our written histories are biased towards um, Europeans because they left the archives from which we write the histories. What archaeology gives us is the opportunity to revise some of these histories or reinterpreting our past. Officials of the University of Ghana noted an establishment of a center for archaeology, culture and biodiversity conservation will create a platform that will tell a better story of the people. We'll be doing massive photography. Nana Kwekwedia, TV3 News, Shire Hills.